In this tutorial, we will explain how to upload training records to Winda using the bulk upload method. Log in to your training provider account. Go to the uploads page to upload a new batch of records. Choose the new bulk upload option. This page shows a list of courses and includes file download links for the upload instructions and a separate template. Down at the bottom of the screen is where you input your file. To start, download the upload instructions. In this Microsoft Excel file, the first sheet includes detailed directions on how to input data into the Excel sheet and how to save the file in order to upload it to Winda. The second sheet includes a template for inputting data with example fields filled in. Clicking on each box will show you the specific requirements for the field. The fields for course code and facility type include drop-down menus. The dates must be entered manually. When you are ready to begin, you can highlight this text and click delete to have a blank page to type in your own data. For this example, three courses each will be uploaded for three course participants. Choose the course code from the drop-down menu. In this case, FA for first aid. Next, choose the facility type and enter the course completion date. The date must be entered in year, month, day format in order for Winda to read the file. Because this is an initial course, no previous course valid until date is required. You must input the course details for every course you will upload for the participant. Bulk uploads allow you to enter different courses and different course completion dates. For the second participant, the same courses were input with a different facility type. For the third participant, we will show an example of uploading a refresher course. In this case, FAR is for first aid refresher. Once again, enter the facility type and the course completion date. Because this is a refresher course, you must also enter the previous course valid until date. This is the date when the participant's previous first aid or first aid refresher course expired. Once again, input the details for each individual training course. When you have finished inputting the data, take a moment to review your file. Make sure that the course participant IDs do not include any extra characters or spaces and that you have verified the course completion date and previous course valid until date. Then you can save your file. You must save this type of file as a CSV comma delimited file. This is the only way Window will be able to read the file. A prompt will inform you that you can only save one single sheet as a CSV file. Choose yes. This will save only your data as a CSV file to upload into Winda. Once you have finished editing and saving your file, you can upload it to Winda on the bulk upload page. Enter a description in line with your company's policies, and when you are ready, click Upload Record. If your file format and data were correct, you will be taken to a draft upload screen. If you're uploading refreshers, you will see a pop-up reminding you to double check the previous course valid until date. Now you can review your upload to see if there were valid records, duplicate records, or error records. You can also see all of the participants' IDs, names, courses, and course dates. If any of the records are marked as error records, you can download an error file. The error file will include any relevant error codes in the errors column. If your upload had errors in it, 
you may wish to discard the upload instead of proceeding. Then you can upload a new version with all correct entries. For a bulk upload, your account will be charged for the number of window credits shown next to total records, even if some of these records are errors. When you are finished reviewing the upload, click Purchase and confirm by clicking Yes. Afterwards, you will be taken to your completed upload. Once you have purchased the uploads, the training records will now appear on the course participants window ID. You can search this in Winda by using the Search Training Records page. The three courses uploaded during this bulk upload example are now shown on the participant's training record.